Friends, today is Wednesday, the 11th of November, and it's Veterans Day. And we just finished celebration of Mass. Today, aside from Veterans Day, is the feast of St. Martin of Tours. Martin of Tours, a fourth century bishop of Tours, and a very popular saint in the early church. Martin was a soldier who converted to Christianity, and thus uh, he is the patron of soldiers. And appropriate for today, which is Veterans Day, Martin would have been a veteran as well. And our Gospel Day is a little touch of thanksgiving. The Gospel is that of the ten lepers, one of whom returns to thank Jesus. And we'll hear this Gospel on Thanksgiving Day, which is just two weeks from tomorrow. And one can approach this gospel, of course, from that aspect of thanksgiving, that would be appropriate. But I'm gonna to touch on just a little different subject. Um, the lepers, once cured, are told to go to the priest. And uh, the priest is the one who would then determine that they can return to temple worship. And so we have that theme of temple and returning to the temple. And that theme I'm going to just say a word about. Uh, the context of the gospel is Jesus is on his way to Jerusalem. Luke, about half of his gospel, is that journey where Jesus sets his face like flint toward Jerusalem. And he's about halfway between Jerusalem and Galilee where he started almost passing through Samaritan country, and we find out that one of the lepers is a Samaritan <clears throat> referred to as a foreigner. And that will be a little important note too. The lepers, <clears throat> of course, stand apart from Jesus, away from him, it says, at a distance, and with humility and also uh, recognizing the person of Jesus, they refer to him as master, Jesus master. With respect, he, they speak to him and they say, have pity on us, have pity on us, which the word pity could be mercy here, have mercy on us. One of the attributes of God in the Old Testament was the one with tender mercy. And Jesus now, as Messiah who has come, will show that tender mercy. And indeed, not only the tender mercy, but Jesus has come to free those who are in bondage. And few individuals in society could be more in bondage, captive than a leper. There are 10 of them, which is interesting, a group, the only other people a leper could approach was another leper, yet they could have no contact with anyone else, including family. Imagine that to you would just uh, be at a point in your life uh, where you could never touch anyone again, and the only ones you could were also fellow lepers. Interesting, in the group, one is a foreigner, meaning one was not a Jew, and Jews never had any contact with any non-Jew. They would be ritually unclean. But here, their medical condition pulls them together, what they share in common, going beyond all of the traditions and customs, made no difference. They were outcasts in society. And one uh, could say that to Jesus, who heals them, sends them off, to the priest who were at the temple, in a sense is restoring, restoring the Israel in exile, the scattered Israel, scattered Israel, who in, at this time, Ezekiel said that God had left the temple because of Israel's sins. And Jesus comes to restore true worship. These Israelites who could not go into the temple and that foreigner, foreigners who could not go in the temple nor could lepers, that Jesus has come to gather and pull together the scattered tribes and return to true worship. 
few days ago, we had Jesus cleansing the temple from the Gospel of John and the restoration of the temple and the return of these outcasts and foreigners to the temple could be seen as symbolic of that. One of them, of course, returns and gives thanks and it, we're told that he was a foreigner. All people now returning to the temple, foreigners, outcasts, and so on. Jesus himself, of course, would become the true temple, the true temple. He, the Messiah, who restores proper and true worship to Israel. And the question then, whom do we worship? And do we, are we, oh, how should we put it? Is, is it right worship? Right worship here in the gospel restored to the temple in Jesus. But what about our own worship? Whom do we worship? And is it right worship? All of us, I suppose, have all sorts of priorities in our life. And do those priorities, uh, are they superior to the priority of God himself? Returning to the temple, saying thank you to God, worshiping him, true worship in spirit and in truth. And I see that sun coming through brightly through the windows. Uh, hope that doesn't wash me out. I'll have a look at this video <laughs> when I finish here. But in any case, have a good Veterans Day, and we'll see you tomorrow.